Okay, so what's up, it's Samantha, and I'm hitting y'all back to back with real estate um, videos because yesterday I finally got the news I've been waiting for on a property that I get to purchase for my business. Um, so it's a property that I've wanted to purchase for a long time. It's the property that I've been in operation in for the past four years and 11 months. So we've had that property um, rented for that long. I don't know, maybe we paid him 75 grand. I don't know, I, thought, I would have to calculate it. And he doesn't have a bad rental agreement, um, but um, I believe ownership over everything. So recently I've sold a lot of properties. So I asked yet again, um, if he's ready to sell the building. So this time, I, I've asked him over the course of four years, plenty of time. So he knows that I was eager and ready to buy. Um, in the past though, I've gave him numbers and they were off the ball, okay? But this is this is a trial and error kind of thing. So the last time since I'm in a better financial position, obviously then when I started the insurance company, um, I gave him a number that he can't refuse or that will make his life a little bit easier, right? So. Um, especially in this market right now, like it's difficult to find properties that are even worth purchasing, um, especially if you're used to a bigger spread, which I am. And, um, you know, I got to get out of that mindset. I got to be okay with a payday, not the best payday. So, yep, we're going to put it under contract a little bit more than what I even offered him, but it's still a good deal for me because long term, my company will be able to depreciate the asset. Um, and we're gonna take a loan against it, obviously, so we'll be able to write off all that interest, et cetera, et cetera. So that is my win today. And the takeaway from it is, um, first of all, I'm in the position to be able to purchase right now. And obviously, if he didn't wanna to sell to me, it would kinda of suck because moving would be moving an entire office, okay? Signage alone probably is over. You know, these signs were put up four years ago. So, and at the time, I think I spent a thousand, plus 15, so it's 2,500 plus 2,000 for the top. So that will be 5,500 $5, just in the signage. Excuse me, babe. Sorry. So this also benefits my company because if I were to sell my company, okay, we would be able to sell the real estate as well or retain the valuable real estate because the company has been there for so long. Um, for a additional fee um, or, you know, rent it out to the, the future owners. So just the cost of moving, if I were to find a different building, um, also the location is pretty good. I've been there for a, a while um, and it was an insurance agency prior to me. So it's been known for insurance for at least 20 years now. Um, also, you know, your Google listing as well. Um, you would have to change all that information, gas bill, electric bill, etc. So now I get to take over ownership in the spot that I've been renting for the past four and a half years. And literally it's very seamless transaction. So I'm super stoked about this opportunity to, um, make my business become even more valuable. Um, obviously I take on a lot of the responsibilities as an owner, but um, I don't know if you ever ran it, but you do hold a lot of responsibilities on your own as um, a tenant as well. So, especially I think in the commercial space more than anything, okay? Um, so this is our big win for 2022. This is a deal for 2022 that um, I'm very happy that it happened. Obviously 2022 deals are uh, look a lot different than what they look like in 2018, 2019. So to be able to use profits to um, have a deal that I would say I feel 100% confident in um, is a great win for 2022. So I just wanna hear about what deals you guys have going on in 2022. What's your, more, your, your real estate strategy? This one combined with my William Penn Insurance business, which has its own YouTube, but I think it's interesting um, to hear about new deals. I think my mindset is more moving towards um, cities with a better payout as well. So I'd like to hear about what you guys have going on. All right. I'll get back to you guys. See ya.